Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to another episode of Creative Tuesdays. And in today's video, we are going to create this. So this glitch effect is created using 100% After Effects and you can use it to reveal text or any logo. All this without using any third party plugin. So before I begin, 88% of you are not subscribed to my channel. So make sure to subscribe and press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and I've already imported these two files. So I'll put a link in the description from where you can download these two files. And after that, you can import them in After Effects just like this. So in order to begin this, we are going to create a new composition. So let's call this text and width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want just click on ok so in this comp we are obviously going to create our text so you can select the pen tool and you can click wherever you want after that it's completely up to you what you want to type so i'm going to type glitch for this example and it's completely up to you you can use whatever font you want so once you're happy with your text you can just simply paste it into the center of this comp using the align panel so if you're not able to see this align panel, then you can go into windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's select our text, press S and I'm going to quickly scale this little bit down. Something like this. Again, let's align this. So now we have our text. And now I'm going to create another composition and I'm going to call this main. And rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to drag my text comp into this. And after that, I'm going to use this production ID, which is this glitch footage. So if I drag it here, you can see we have this sort of glitch effect. And quickly, I'm going to just simply move it a little bit ahead, just like this. And I'm going to select this layer. And on this one, we are going to apply a displacement map effect. So just select the text layer and just search for displacement map. And after that, just simply drag it onto the text layer. First, we are going to change the displacement map layer. So let's set this to production ID this. And after that, I'm going to change the use displacement from saturation and on this one as well. After that, we can increase the horizontal displacement and you can see that we already have this glitchy sort of effect. But first, let me just quickly select this layer and I'm going to hide this so that we are not able to see this layer. And now I'm going to change this value to something like 120. So now if I play back here, you can see that we have this sort of glitch effect onto our layer and this is exactly what we want for now. Now I'm going to quickly select these two layers and I'm going to pre-compose them and let's call this layer glitch map. So we have this glitch map composition over here and I'm going to duplicate it two more times. So press Ctrl D to duplicate these layers and after that I'm going to apply fill onto these layers. So just search for fill and just drag it onto the first layer and I'm going to leave its color to red. Let's drag the fill to the second layer and on this one I'm going to change this to blue so that we get this RGB look. And on the third one I'm going to again drop the fill effect and on this one I'm going to change this to green. Just click on OK. After that we can change their mode. If you're not able to see the mode option then you can click from here. and Let's change them to add. So there you go. Now we have all the channels and they are adding themselves to create this white look. So now we can offset these layers. So let me just quickly select this layer and I'm going to move it like one or two frames ahead. And we can do the same thing with this one as well. Something like this. So here you can see that we have different kind of colors over here, which is exactly what we want. Now I'm going to apply one more effect which is going to give it a stretchy kind of look. So for that I'm going to right click and let's create a new adjustment layer. And on this one I'm going to type scale wipe. So just simply drag the CC scale wipe effect and let's drag it onto this adjustment layer. First I'm going to change the direction to 90. And after that if I increase the strength you can see we have this stretchy kind of look. So I'm going to change this to 100 something like this. So if I move this center, you can see we have this stretchy kind of effect. So for this, we are going to animate this from here. So in the beginning, I'm going to add a keyframe and let's go to somewhere around two seconds. And after that, I'm going to simply move this to 
the side something like this so if I play back here you can see we have this sort of effect and we can select this if you want you can select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them or you can right click and under keyframe assistant just easy ease so that we have this sort of look now there is one more thing I want my effect to stop after this two second mark so now to do that I'm going to go inside the glitch map comp let's move to the two second mark so somewhere around here and over here I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to press ctrl shift D so that it will split the layer and after that I'm going to select the top layer and from here we are going to de delete the displacement map so now you can see that our text will have no effect but you will notice one more thing that it will jump to this location so we are going to fix this by simply extending this and after that I'm going to select the bottom layer and we are going to manually place it using the arrow keys something like this so after that again you can select this and let's move it back to there so over here we have this glitch effect and after that we have the simple layer now if there is a little bit of jerk then you can just simply play around with these and just try to match the position something like this so now if I play back here you can see that we have this glitch effect and after that we have the simple text so we are pretty much done with this now let's go back to the main comp and if I preview it over here you can see we have this kind of effect and now let's do one more thing I'm going to quickly select the production ID this glitch effect and I'm going to drag it inside the composition and after that I'm going to press S and let's uncheck these and I'm going to scale this so that it looks something like this and I'm going to quickly move this little bit ahead just like this so that if I play back here you can see we have this glitch effect and let me just quickly make it a little bit smaller something like this so now I'm going to animate it scale as well so let's add a keyframe over here and let's move to somewhere around two seconds and I'm going to change the y value to zero and again I'm going to select the first keyframe and let's move it couple of frames ahead something like this so if I play back you can see we have created this sort of look which is exactly what we want now it's completely up to you if you want you can play around with these colors to give it a different look but for me this is looking perfect so let's select all of these layers and we are going to right click and let's pre-compose this one last time and let's call this composite or whatever you want just click on ok and now we are going to add some 3d effect to this but before that let's add some glow to this so we are going to go inside this and onto the adjustment layer I'm going to quickly apply the glow effect so just search for glow and let's drag it onto this and I'm going to increase the glow radius quite a bit and let's reduce the glow intensity to something like 0.5 or 4 let's select this press ctrl D to duplicate it and this one I'm going to reduce it a little bit something like this so now you can see we have this really nice glow effect and we can probably extend the adjustment layer so that the glow effect is applied onto all the layers so now let's go back to our main comp and let me just quickly close all of these compositions so now let's add a 3d ground over here and let's give it a really nice look so for that I'm going to use this texture and you can just simply select it and drag it inside the composition so it's a quite large texture so I'm going to scale this down something like this and let's rotate it by 90 degree now we can probably scale this so that it fits the entire screen something like this after that make sure that this layer is selected and you can click and hold down and let's select the ellipse tool after that just make sure this layer is selected and you can double click on this ellipse tool and it will create a mask and on this mask I'm going to quickly increase the feather something like this and I'm going to make the expansion a little bit inward to the negative direction something like this so that we have only this region this is looking fine now I'm going to make this texture quite dark so let me just quickly select this and let's apply curves to this and let's darken this texture something like this I think this is looking fine now let's select this make this 3d and make our text 3d as well 
and now I'm going to select this layer press R and let's rotate it by around the x-axis by 90 degree let's set this to negative 90 and after that I'm going to move this little bit below something like this so there you go now we have our ground and we can probably select this press M for mask and I'm going to increase the feather and let's make this little bit less visible and if you want you can make it more darker it's completely up to you however you want yeah so I think this is looking fine now I'm going to select the composite layer and I'm going to press ctrl D to duplicate it and I'm going to select the bottom layer and we are going to press R to rotate it and again I'm going to rotate it along the x-axis something like this and let's move it below so you have to find a nice spot somewhere around here let's set this to 90 as well and you can select this press s and it's completely up to you you can scale it however you want just like this so if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice reflection on the ground and on this one i'm going to apply a glow effect so that it enhances this more just like this and let me just quickly increase this and let's decrease the glow intensity now we are going to apply one more effect onto this which is the compound blur so just search for compound blur and let's drag it onto this and after that I'm going to change the blur layer to this texture and I'm going to increase the amount so over here you can see we have added a little bit texture to this so if I rotate this and if I increase or decrease this value so you can see that it will add this really nice ground texture to this so let's set this to 90 again so we are pretty much done with our animation and if I play back here you can see we have the ground we have our texture as well if you want you can select this press T and lower down its opacity it's completely up to you however you want so I think this is looking fine now we can do one more thing let me just quickly select this and let's scale this down just like this let's do one more thing let's add a camera so go to layer make sure you are inside the comp go to layer new camera and just click on ok let's add a new null object let's layer new null and let's make it 3d and I'm going to paint the camera to this null object and after that we can select this null press R for rotation and we can rotate the camera using this null so I'm going to rotate it along the y-axis something like this so in the beginning I'm going to set this to something like this let's add a keyframe and let's go to 2 seconds and I'm going to change this value to 0 so that we have this sort of movement and we can select this press F9 now you will notice one more thing that we have these edges at the end so we can fix that by simply selecting the layers and press S let's add a scale animation so in the beginning we can scale these quite a bit something like this and after that if I play back here you can see we have this glitch effect and we can do the same thing with this as well so let's add a scale over here as well and let's change the let's increase the value something like this so now if I play back here you can see we have this really nice scale effect and again select the keyframes press F9 to ease them so there you go now we have this really nice glitch kind of effect if you want you can select the keyframes and you can go ahead and play around with the easing it's completely up to you you can play around with these values something like this and at last if you want you can add a adjustment layer and let's add one last glow layer just search for glow and let's add onto this and let's make it a little bit brighter and just decrease the value to something like 0 0.2 0 0.1 so that it will give an overall nice glow so there you go this is how you can create this glitchy text effect and if you want you can easily change your text all you have to do is just go inside the text com and just simply type whatever text you want and after that if you come back you can see that all the changes have been applied and all the animations are already here
it will take some time to load and after that you can see so there you go now we have added our new text so you can add some sound effects if you want so in the same way you can drag any logo inside this composition and it will have the same effects so i hope you learned something from this video and the project file and the template file for this tutorial are available on patreon and if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to exclusive template files and projects which are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one